I'd like to show you how to add uh, skins on top of your fins um, like this made out of paper. Uh, the reason we want to do this sometimes is it will add a lot of strength to the fin without adding a lot of weight. And it also seals the surface making the rocket easier to paint. And if you've ever flown rockets a lot, especially on hard surfaces when the fin lands, it can often ding it up and maybe chip a corner. And the paper can help prevent some of this damage. Uh, the paper also makes the fin stronger, like I said, makes it harder to snap in half. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use ordinary white paper, just like you'd find this, uh, like copy paper. And our first step is to trace an outline on the uh, paper of the fin. And I like to go a little bit larger than the fin itself because I like a little bit of overlap. And then we can just cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you want to do two of these, one for each side of the fin. So this is going to be a little bit big, but that's okay. I'm just using a metal ruler here. You can also use a scissors if you want. So that's step one. Now we're going to take our fin and we want to inspect the surface first, make sure that it's pretty smooth. If there's any hard spots, you might want to take some fine grit sandpaper and just sand those just to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth because any imperfection on the surface is going to show through the paper. And then we're going to take our glue and I'm going to put a piece of plastic down on the table because uh, this can get a little bit messy and have some paper towels ready too. And we're going to apply glue over the entire surface. And then we're going to smooth it out. Now here's the first trick. Okay. Just use your finger. It works pretty good. Now this looks like I hardly have any glue on there. But actually I have way too much. And I'm going to take probably 90% of that glue off. And I'm just going to squeegee it off with my finger. And every time I do this, I'm going to wipe it off on a paper towel. Because you want to have an even coat with absolutely no high spots in it. And you want to do both sides of the fin at the same time because, because the glue has water in it. Um, it's going to try to warp the wood. So you got to work fairly fast here. Make sure there's no glue on your fingers when you touch the top of the, uh, of the skin. And you press it down. And as you're pushing it out with your fingers, you will notice any high spots. And I think I did pretty good there. Uh, the, the glue is going to try to uh, wick into the fibers of the paper and it's going to try to uh, contract it. So just spread it out as best as you can and then quickly do the other side. And when you do the other side, what I like to do is I have a wet paper towel handy to get all the glue off because the glue will start drying on your finger and it can make a mess on, on the skin of the paper. Now, if you get too much glue on your uh, fin, you're going to get ridges like this one here. And uh, when you sand them out, when it's time to paint the rocket, you're going to sand right through the paper and into the glue. And you're going to take away a lot of the strength because now you no longer have the paper providing the strength. Okay, so on this uh, fin, I've already gone ahead and glued it up. You can see I've got a little bit of glue on the surface, but that's okay. That will sand off. Um, so then our next step is to take a knife and just carefully trim around the outside edge. I'm only doing one side of the fin at a time. Use a sharp hobby knife. Now I don't have to get all the overlap off with the knife. I just want to get probably about 80 percent, 80 to 90 percent off without cutting into the wood itself. OK, 
Okay, so that side's done. I'll go ahead and do the other side. Sometimes if you use a sawing motion like that, if your knife is kind of dull, that will uh, make it cut a little bit easier. I'll show you that one again. So I'm kind of using a sawing up and down motion. Okay, next I'm going to take some sandpaper and I've got some, uh, this is 120 grit sandpaper on a sanding block and I'm just going to take that and sand to knock off all the edges. Now I don't want to go too deep, I just want to do it so that it gets pretty uniform. Got about 80% of it. Now I'm going to switch to a, a finer grit sandpaper. I think this is about 300, 320, somewhere in there. And I'll go around the edges one more time. And then what I'd like to do is to kind of just carefully round off the edges in case there's any fibers of paper that are kind of hanging off the edge. I'll do both sides. All right, so that's probably 90% done, and you can actually glue it on the rocket when it's in this configuration. Uh, sometimes you can uh, take some thin CA that will wick into the fibers and just run a bead of glue along each of the edges and then take a paper towel and as soon as you put it on wipe it off and if it's the thin CA it will actually wick into the fibers right along the edge and that will actually seal all the edges down so that your edges can't pry up later and then you can glue it on the rocket and go ahead and paint it now if your fin has a curvature to it, like this one here, um, I've already sanded an airfoil shape into it. Um, you need to sand the airfoil in before you put the skins of paper on. Otherwise, uh, when you sand, you'll be sanding off all the paper and then you'd be losing all your strength. So there's how to do it. Um, I actually recommend this on our website for building the supersonic Aspire, which is the Apogee Aspire designed to go supersonic. And I actually have this technique in printed form on that web page. So if you go to the uh, Apogee Aspire rocket kit, scroll down to where it says take your rocket supersonic and you'll find a PDF report that describes how to do the skins on your fins. So until next time. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true. I'm Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Apogee Components is the best place to go if your kids enjoy rocketry. My kids have come here and built so many rockets that it's kept them busy all summer long. They learn, they have fun, and the customer service here is fantastic. Tim and the rest of his crew always answer Andrew's questions, they respond to his emails, and they have just made this a wonderful hobby and a great experience. So come to Apogee Components and see what you can do here too.